Good morning, Mayor Woodward here today uh, to talk with you a little bit about what's going on in the city of Fulton. Um, one good thing I want to report that um, we're always trying to save money in our department heads. I have to give them a lot of credit. Um, our Chamberlain, Danny O'Brien, he handles the street light accounts for us. And he just informed me that um, we're taking another 387 of the street lights and making them LEDs. That'll put us at about 50% complete for the street lights. When we're done, that savings probably would be around sixty to eighty thousand dollars for the entire city, which is a lot of money. The other thing is, um, we uh, we got uh, new buildings coming in. I think we've talked about some of these, but I want to mention it again. And the other thing I don't want to forget, lose sight of, is North Bay annexation. That that's is in the city now. We didn't have to sue this uh, town of Grand before. Um, their supervisor, John Snow, a nice fellow, uh, took it upon himself to get their town council to do that for the city. And if you're wondering why that is important, the reason that is important is because even though we own it, if it's located in another township, not in the corporate limits of Fulton, then we're taxed on it. Now, we weren't taxed a lot on it. It was about $10,000 buck. We want to add cabins at North Bay campgrounds, you know, to expand it. Right now we have uh, campsites, which are tent sites, and trailers can go there. But we want to add water, sewer, and, you know, um, and also they give us some more land going north. So that's good, and we won't be taxed on any of the improvements. That's kind of held us up from going after grants and everything else. And that's a good thing for Fulton. If we want people to come and live here, we got to give them a reason to want to come here. And that's a, that's a good reason. Um, we finished uh, another one of our houses, our tax foreclosures, 40 Dewey Drive. I think um, I think it's where County today has done some uh, some excellent work on it. And uh, uh, they'll continue to, uh, as we expand through the year, we're working on more, let you know what's going on and where the rehabs are. That's important for the city because not only does it improve the neighborhoods, but it brings people in using young families. And they're guaranteed that uh, when they get a mortgage to buy a home, that they don't have to put a roof on or a water line. They're, they're going to be in there quite a while before they have any major repairs. And it just adds to the overall value of the city. Um, and uh, I see the Mentor Ambulance has come along good. They've got all the blueprint for their building down. Folks that haven't been over there, over on Ontario Street, and uh, ought to take a look at it. That building is going to be huge. I can't wait till it's up. I mean, it takes up the whole block down, down you know. I think that says a lot for the confidence they have in the city of Fulton to want them, uh, to, to expand and do it here. They could have just as easily went somewhere else. The other thing, the Meshawd, uh, former Meshawd building, uh, nursing home. Now it is assisted living, and um, they're going to have orthopedic aftercare in there, which is good. So that means if you you have someone that lives in our city that needs assisted living now, they won't have to travel elsewhere. And of course, I've talked on some of these before, but you're going to see a new uh, building go up for Compass Credit Union on 481 across from Mimi shortly. High Freeze is. Uh, they took the old freezer plant over to uh, Bird's Eye and, and they're, they're back and uh, they're, they're doing work on that now. Taco Bell is up and running. Charter Communications for building a new building for Spectrum. And uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know, um, our waste treatment plant, we annexed that several years ago. And one, uh, that was in the town of Granby as well. But uh, the benefit to having that in Fulton is, uh, first off, you got to be able to pay police and fire. But one of the biggest considerations in keeping costs down, the taxes on that plant were 160000 a year. That's a lot of money. So that's um, that, that that will help us. We're planning a cleanup day in, uh, in Fulton. Uh, we'll be... Uh, 
we'll be uh, announcing that pretty soon. And um, I think that's pretty much it for right now. Um, if anyone has any questions or wants to stop in to see me, then I have an open door policy and I'm here till 4.30 every night. Thank you. I want to ask you a question. Yes. <clears throat> can you can you go in a little bit more depth when you're talking about 40 Dewey Street? 40 Dewey Drive, yeah. Okay. Um, for the general public, the benefit is, like you just said, you know, a young couple or a family right. is going to move into there. They're going to put down roots. Right. But also because you've done, uh, you know, the city is paying for the renovations. When you sell that house at market value. Right. You basically have made money off of it, so it's not a ta it's not a, a loss of money uh, or oh, costing no, the city more money, no, correct? No, we probably on that one make about twenty thousand dollars. On the flip side, if it was one you didn't do anything to, there's two things that could happen. You could sell it cheap at auction, like the city used to, and then probably somebody out of town would buy it and it would end up in a rental unit, and you wouldn't be able to control what happened there. Or if that didn't happen. You could tear it down, and that would cost you between twenty-five and thirty thousand. So, I think what we're doing is smart. It improves the neighborhoods, it improves the value of the city, and it brings new people to our town. So. And then let's talk about the campground real quick, just to get a little bit more in depth for you, yeah. uh, for me. Um, so, because you know, some people ask, you know, why are we doing that or whatever. But in the end, does it become a profit center because you have cabins there to rent at a higher rate? and better sewage and everything like you discussed? No, what, what that will do, that will take people, some people of Fulton, and people from outside of Fulton, and bring them to Fulton, okay? And if I lived in Fulton, and I wanted to camp somewhere, rather than uh, travel a longer distance from home, that would be a good place, okay? And um, as far as costs go, I don't see that as a big money maker, but I don't want it to be a drain either. I want it to pay for itself. And so far it has. And I think these things will, of course, if we rent cabins, we'll get a little more for a cabin than you do a tent site. But no, it'll just be an improvement. Uh, it's, it's not designed to generate a, a lot of money. I think that we like to have the area people, Fulton people in the surrounding area to have something nice that they can go to with their family and, and enjoy. And we're going to continue the cleanup of the lake. And my my wish and my uh, dream is that, to get that lake clean enough so we can use it for swimming and bathing like that again. It's good fishing stuff. So it's a bigger project than just one annexation oh, that you're yeah. doing. Like you oh, mentioned yeah. before, the boardwalk that you wanted to Absolutely. put through, yeah. the extended land. and Yeah. Okay. And that will all, like you've saved money in taxes right now by annexing the land alone. Absolutely, yeah. Perfect. And we didn't, uh, that, there was no court fight over that. Uh, town did that on it. And when I say uh, uh, I'd like to see a boardwalk through there, that doesn't mean the public can't have input. Maybe they want something else. I don't know. I can't imagine why. But as far as the campground goes, we bought that 50 years ago, and that's pretty much what that's going to be. I mean, that's what the Fulton public wanted. That's that's what they, uh, I'm trying to think of how they paid for that. It was a uh, Pay for that with some kind of a federal grant, so it's got to be a campground. Mm -hmm. Of course, the land going north was given to us, but um, we welcome the public's input on what they think would be best there. Perfect. Except for the campground itself, that is what it is. Yeah. All right, thank you, Mayor. I appreciate you answering the questions. Thank you.